Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In this video, we're going to talk about how to build a single load more post feature. So what does that mean? Well, I have received a lot of requests from many of you who would want to have a feature on a single post page that first it should load the, that particular post but it should have a load more button and when you click on it it should load the next most recent post so if you take a look click on load more stories you can see it's loading and it's loaded the next recent post right ignore the styling for now we can always fix the loading part later but you get the idea that uh, that's what it's doing right now and then if you check and inspect element on the network tab, you'll see that there's an Ajax request that goes, which basically fetches the data for the next most recent post. Um, you can see that this is the page two, right? And this is the post ID. So let's go ahead and try one more. There we go, that's the second one. So this was the page two, uh, 181. Let's go on the next one, page three. Uh, the initial post ID that was previously loaded was single post ID 181 because we want to ensure that that post is not loaded that's why you see the single post id but you have a pagination over there and, and in the data you are getting uh, the next available post which is the next most recent post okay so let's see how we build this well i've already explained how to create the load more features so, so it's going to be very very similar to that only with few changes so that's why i'm not going to explain in detail uh, if you haven't watched the previous videos where i have explained in depth what Ajax is how Ajax requests are made in WordPress, how the load more features are created. So this is going to be a continuation from the previous video. So what I've done is, so I've created a class called load more single. Okay. And then inside of this, um, I am adding the actions for the load more, creating short codes, etc. And I'm also getting the instance of that inside of the Aquila theme class. So here, here we go. Load more single, get instance. Okay. The first thing we're doing is basically creating a container and we call this function as a single post load more container and uh, we get the single ID. So assuming that you're going to call this function on a single .php page, which is this one, get the ID will be available. So you'll get the single post ID there. And then this is going to get the single load more query. So let me show that to you, that function also. So here, we get the post status as publish. You can also skip that if you want because by default it's publish only. Post per page one because we want to fetch the next most recent post, so just one post. That's why post per page is one. Uh, page will be the page number. And then we also want to know the starting post ID, right? We want to basically start our query from the next available post, excluding that post, okay? So how do we modify the query? So I'm going to get to that as to how to utilize our custom parameter from our query and then modify the WP query according to that in the next video. So please hold on to your curiosity. That is going to be really interesting. I'll come back to that. Okay. So this is going to be the query. Basically, we want to ensure that we get all the post IDs after the post ID that you're on. So post ID should be less than that, less than the current post ID. Okay, so this is going to be a query. So, so that's going to be our query. Then you're going to get has next page. Okay, so if load more query post is not empty, that means it has the next page. You have the next page available to fetch more posts. And then you also get the total pages from the query using the maximum pages. And then if you check, if no next page is available, return null, otherwise go ahead and return this particular container, which is where the rest of the post is are going to be added every time a new post is added using Ajax. Okay. So that's your container. Uh, this is your container again. Uh, that's your button. So when this button is clicked, then we will, using JavaScript, we are going to make an Ajax call to fetch more post, which is basically the next post. And then this is just a loading message which gets shown while the posts are being loaded, all right? So what we're gonna do is, we'll create a short code called single post listing, and then we're going to basically get the content. So, so whenever you do echo, do short code, and the name of the short code, 
then it's going to render the content of this single post load more containers. So whatever is being echoed from this particular function is going to be rendered there. So what we can do is we can go to the single post and then we can just do echo do short code and then the name of the short code inside of the square brackets inside of single quotes. Okay. And we basically put that. So we have a while loop over here. So we have if half post, while half post the post to where your uh, end while fin where your else statement finishes, right? So you have end while and then you have else statement in case if there's no content. That's where you after the end if you can put your do short code. Okay, so then that particular function will be called. And since that function will be called, um, this container with the load more button and all of that will be visible onto the front end. And that's what we are seeing over here. So if you do an inspect element, you can see that that's the load more wrapper. So that's your load more wrapper. Let me zoom it in. That's your single post load more container. Currently it's empty, but I've given you a demo that every time you click on that button with JavaScript, we are just appending and adding more articles inside of this container, which is initially going to be empty, right? And then that's your uh, button, load more button. So that's the button there, okay? And that's your loading, okay? So there you go, like so, all right? So it's hidden initially. Okay, so that's that. And then we're also adding the actions, WP Ajax, no brave, single load more, and the WP Ajax single load more. So these are the two hooks for logged in and non-logged in users, wherein this is going to get hooked to this particular function. So this fun particular function, if you check, uh, I've already explained in the previous episode, all of this, we just check whether the nonce is valid or not. And if you remember from the previous episode, we are passing the nonce using the WP localized script. So if you remember, this is where we are passing the nonce, load more post nonce, and we're passing that to the page. And then we, if, if it's valid, which means it's secure and it's an Ajax request, we are just getting the page number using get query var. We are checking if the post uh, request has the page number in the JavaScript, so we'll get that value from the JavaScript. And from the JavaScript, we'll also get the single post ID value. And we're actually going to pass the single post ID value over here because remember I mentioned to you that because this function is gonna be called inside of the single using the uh, do short code, that's why you will have the access to the get get the ID on the single.php page and that ID is being passed over here. So if you if you have a check, you can see that data single post ID. So the post ID that you're currently on, the ID number is 18 and you can verify that if you do an edit post here. Uh, it's actually 181 right here. Okay, so if you edit post here, that's the ID. Okay, so we do need the single post ID because we want to uh, make sure that we get the post IDs which are after that and not before. So now, uh, so that's being passed. Let's go back to that hook. Okay, so we basically get the single post ID. So in JavaScript, we'll be able to get that. And I'm gonna show that to you in a moment. And then we get the single load more query. I've already shown you this function over here. So this function is going to get us the query, the query that we are making. With the help of this query, where we're passing the page number and the single post ID, uh, we just run the while loop, and then we get the template part for the content so that Inside of the template part, we have the article and we can just, I can just show you quickly in fact. So you can see this is our article. We get the header meta content and all of that. And if you notice that on the single page also, we are using the same template. That's the beauty of using templates. You can reuse them, right? So that's what's being used to load the initial post. And that is what is going to be used to load the rest of the post, like each post every time you click on load more. Okay, uh, else is WP dive and no post found. Uh, with a zero message and then an Ajax call and not initial request, you can just die. Okay, and then WP reset post data. So that's all, uh, that's all that's happening there. In the next video, we're going to learn about how to add the JavaScript and, and make the Ajax request. Okay, so I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Uh, please do start my repository to support my work. My repository name is Aquila. And thanks to all the beautiful 440 people who have already started. Uh, and please do follow me on GitHub and Twitter as well. My Twitter handle is Cody Tech. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.